stuff and show y'all what I do this is the challenge with doing things with one hand so I can show you guys lately I've been sitting over in this corner here next to my teacher cart and then I get in about 15 to 20 minutes of prepping for the day can I zoom out anymore? which means that we can chat without my hand hurting. All right, so my cart is over here. I wanted to do I wanted to do a separate video on the cart. But again, the challenge is always where do I put it? <laughs> I think it was just so much more simple when there was just blogs because everything just went on the blog. And Actually, now that I say that, I feel like I got a little bit of extra clarity. But um, now that there's so many other places to put things, and it's fun and exciting and it can be creative, it, it is overwhelming. But I'm not going to run away from that. I'm just going to keep pushing through. And I think that I'm just going to try my best at filtering everything through the blog. So I'm going to keep that in my mind. Those are like little memos to me. But anyway, this is my little corner. <laughs> I thought it was going to be my desk, but the kids tend to like need to go over to my desk area to get work done and things like that. So I do sit at my desk area, but I'm finding that in the morning it's nice to just sit right by the window and I can put my feet up on the couch here and I'm actually right next to my teacher cart. So this is working out. Um, I just bring a few things over to this little corner and I have my journal and um, this is my little my little adventure journal grab whatever it is that I need to look through for the morning before we start the day we have started a new schedule and we're really excited about it it's been about two weeks now and we've worked out the kinks and it's been it's been giving exactly what I needed to give. Um, I said all that to say that we are working on what we call a geography big block. So our main focus right now, our main area of study is geography. So can we talk a moment about finding the best curriculum? <laughs> like, y'all know curriculum is always a thing. Um, but for me, it's been a journey. I usually make you know, I usually create our curriculum myself. And now that we're getting into the um, older or the bigger kid years, um, I'm adding a lot more prepared uh, curriculum to our workflow. I've always used bits and pieces in the past, but that comes with its own set of challenges because cur curriculum is expensive. Um, so, it is not the best idea to always be on the hunt for the best curriculum, um, but rather just the best curriculum for me. So things that are going to help me to accomplish the goals that I set for us um, is what I call the best curriculum. So in this season, though, uh, we have come across and we've seen I've seen um, many different people use this curriculum and I've had it. Um, in my bookmark section for a very long time knowing or thinking that 
once I get into the higher years, it would be a good fit for us. Um, not solely on its own, but to be able to throw into the mix and help us accomplish the goals that we have set or whatever it is that we want to study, um, skills that we want to acquire, all of those things. So I do have quite a bit. I've accumulated a decent amount of this curriculum and I am very happy about it. I feel like um, it is flexible. It gives me words. <laughs> it helps to give us words and extra ideas and figure out how to pull those ideas together. So I'm using, we're using the Oak Meadow World Geography. And I have really been enjoying, which is a high school course. But again, we are adapting it for all three of the kids together. And um, I'm also using this DK Help Your Kids with Geography. A unique step-by-step -step visual guide the kids we have used this here and there um, over the last couple of years and the kids really enjoy how it's laid out and so we're just gonna keep plugging through it adding using these two as the majority of our spine um, or like to help us to help give us help us create an outline of how we want our curiosities to flow geography wise and then I gather a lot of games that I showed in one of our newest friends club videos um, so I just picked the game that we were going to start with today and that is we have Mount Cleverest a geography edition true or false trivia game so this one is nice I like trivia games because they're like nice and simple like card games they're usually nice and simple easy to get into and then you can like find all the different creative ways to use a card game so this is that as well um because it's really easy to just pick it up and play true or false and then you can find ways to expand upon them and use them over and over again so i love that for us um i'll show you they're so cute such cute little cards <laughs> so anyway I just sit over here in this corner listen to my music my ambient music in the background of course it's a fall edition <laughs> right now and then I just flip through I just flip through the pages of these two and then I also have my iPad um, to help me build out a mood board and I'm not going to get to my mood board this morning because I don't have enough time. But I think I will show you guys later on. So I want to build this mood board and then put it on a blog post. I think that's a good idea. Um, in the past, I usually used my printables. Um, I have a unit study printable that has a large space, like a big block of space in the front of the unit study planner printable that I've used um, and that is where I like draw out all the things just I usually just draw little inspiration bits um, or just kind of sketch up a different act uh, an activity that we want to do or um, uh, like a piece of focal a focal piece of information that I want us to take away it's basically just where I start off the unit planning by sketching out all the things that are in my head I'm not gonna yap more but that's basically what I do I sit over here by the window so I can see all the things I get to see like the squirrels skitter by <laughs> And the leaves blow and if it's raining if it's snowing all of that stuff so I just move my chair over here put my feet up and try to get in at least 15 to 20 minutes of just kind of brainstorming and planning for the morning before the kids come out and they're ready for the day so yeah that's it okay, okay so I also keep my prayer book here this little section here <laughs> and I'm still working on updating them for the kids I mean they're so familiar with the printables by now that we have just learned to like adjust them 
ourselves in our mind but I guess it would be beneficial to go ahead and update them and make them even more um, applicable to their current levels of study so um, I am working on that getting them updated even though I don't have to necessarily do that for them I thought it would be helpful to share with you guys too and go ahead and update those printables just in case you want to see like how our brains work it's very simple I mean <laughs> It's very simple. It just helps me keep it simple. Um, most of the time, it is just like rules of curiosity. Who, what, when, why, where, how. <laughs> That's how we do homeschool in life. That is usually the best curriculum for us. When we establish some type of goal, it's who, who is doing it, what, when, why, where, how. So, anyway, that's what these printables represent for us. It does give them a nice little layout um, to help them along the way establish their curiosities and make a place for the things that they are studying and discovering. So, that is what our little Live and Learn printable binder is. I really hope you didn't hear. I hope you didn't hear the bunnies doing the most in the background. Because <laughs> they were. See how dark it is compared to when I put the light on, you guys. I'm gonna show you everything with lights on. <laughs> My walking pad lives over here. So whenever I find time throughout the day, even though I'm trying to get to the space where I'm doing this at the same time every day, it doesn't always work out that way. So whenever I do get time, I grab my computer. I usually edit or watch a video of some sort and break out my walking pad so I can try to move because that's a whole thing it's like next thing you know you realize that you were so focused on homeschool and life that you don't realize when you're not moving as much as you need to be and that is my current issue slash goal is just to move more <laughs> you know so I'm gonna do that now I got this sweet sweat um, waist trimmer situation. I think I'm going to put um, some essential oils on my stomach before I put them this on and then just walk while I edit. That is the goal for today. them in these little cubes to make it easier for me to to make it easier for me to pop into um, tea here's my little cube I don't know if I should use one or two I think I'm gonna start with one and see how it goes and then I'm gonna use some local honey that my mother in love picked up for us at a um, I don't know what it's called like a little community event so I have been wanting to get local honey for a while especially for the kids because um, I, we read that it was helpful with allergens so okay the way I really feel like I'm out here talking to my besties <laughs> I miss my besties during the day. I know they're out like doing their thing, taking care of their families, handling work and all of that stuff. But it's so hard to keep connected to your friends as an adult. Like it's so hard. And um, I think the best thing I'm learning to do is like really just kind of like jump back in whenever you can and try to reach out or be creative in the way that you let them know that you're thinking about them best way you can but anyway I'm currently imagining that you're my bestie on the other side of this camera and it's making the day already go better I think that's all I that's all I ever really wanted out of this homeschool community like sharing in these homeschool spaces is just to do this homeschool life with other people and it's a challenge to do that but we out here still trying, y'all. Let's put this honey in. I actually need to go ahead and get the kids up. Usually, 
they have already moseyed out here one by one, but I guess today is not the day. So, before I do that, I'm going to tidy a few things up, and then maybe I need to figure out what I'm going to read. The love, the kids love picking our little book stack. I guess it's a TBR, but it's only one book at a time. So it's like a stack of all the books that we are all decided to read. So I'll probably pull those together this morning so that I can keep track of them. Because that is one thing I have not been doing good at. I usually do a really good job at keeping track of our book stacks. Like whatever books we're working on slash reading including read alouds, independent reads, all of that stuff. But I have not been doing that lately, so they've been breezing through books and I have no idea in what order or what they are. It's just, it is what it is right now. So I'm just gonna jump back in and see if I cannot get too far behind. Also, let's talk about fit this morning. Dressing myself in this season has been challenging. I love anything that we can add on and take off in layers because y'all know it's an oscillating situation around here whether or not I'm hot or cold in any given moment. So I'm going between sweat outfits and loose dresses. <laughs> That's what I'm loving in this season. So moving my little tripod around is working. This is working you guys. Okay. I did get a little stack, a stack of what I want to read over the next month or so. Maybe I'll add these to like an Instagram story. I think I'm going to start with this one. The Unmaking of June Pharaoh. So I'm going to read this little bit by little bit throughout the day while they're working. I'd like to have a spot that I could put like all of our book stacks, but that's not a thing right now. Currently trying to squeeze out every square inch. I guess I could put it up here. Maybe along this end. That might work. journey um i am trying to just tidy up a little bit before the kids are ready for the morning um but these are look at their tree houses you guys they still have to make like tiny tiny little finishing touches before i get um document all of the details and get things ready i need to like draw up um a judging sheet <laughs> why can't i think this morning anyway uh because we're going to invite the grandparents and they're going to come and judge um, their tree houses. So I need to establish what I want them to be judged on. And that'll be a fun little event for everyone. But they're so cute. They turned out so cute. And I'm so happy for what they've learned while working on this little project, myself included. Um, like I said... I got my first little set of glasses for my matcha journey, so I'm going to show them to you guys. I did get um, a couple for having them cold and a couple for having them warm. I need to go through these boxes right here. I promise you every video is not going to have Amazon packages in it, okay? <laughs> I am officially going to take myself off the Amazon market as soon as I get going with this um, school season officially this is what i got i need to wash these cups i washed that one i need to wash these i did pick up this matcha i know this is not what i'm going for i want to go for something more ceremonial grade i'm doing my research right now aka on youtube university <laughs> okay 
some people are just so helpful when you have very specific things that you're looking for so i know this is not the jam however i heard that this tastes better than starbucks and i just can't bring myself to bring like five six dollars to buy um a starbucks matcha so i'm gonna try this um it was only nine dollars so i figured that this will be a good way for me to give it a try and still feel good about my purchase and then i'll keep or wrap up my matcha latte um research and then just kind of get started like trying things out for myself so i'm excited um wash these they're so pretty these are for my warm matches I really want to find something ceremonial grade so that I can have the matcha. I guess, what do they call, call it? Um, not Americano, but like without anything. Um, because I've researched, according to my research, it's a lot of great health benefits. And that's what I want. They're so pretty. So I'm going to wash these so they'll be nice and ready for my little matcha experience. And this is the other one in the set. Edwin just came back from his run, so I think he's getting ready for the morning. Uh, this week is a Monday, Wednesday, Friday week, so he's not going to be with us for the morning. I did get fall things up, friends. I like this little area. It gives me something to decorate without it being too much. So, so it's really, really cute when it has a little tea light in it, and then the fall sign will be in the background. I did get our little tear tray up with our woodland creatures so cute i think um these light up too these little houses light up but the batteries are gone so i need to get batteries for those too because i only have i think two candles so cute my little fall shelves if i move those little houses over i feel like the cutest part is this cutting board <laughs> love it it's a little acorn how cute is that I think I'll set my glasses on my little eight cord, both sets. Let me wash the rest so I can put them out there and then that'll be a decorating fix for the morning. I ran and lifted the weights. Okay, so you're a little tired and I need your internet aunties to tell you that you need some protein before you head off to class. You got a little banana protein smoothie for him before he heads off to class this morning. Cameron likes to run until he can't run anymore. And usually he doesn't feel. So we're working on that. And it's a perfect opportunity because we're all about living and learning, right? So he's going to take this with him. I need to make him some protein bars. If you guys have any recipes for protein bars or protein balls that are really good, we'd love to try them. But this time we're using this um, KOS Organic Superfood Plant Protein. I have the blueberry muffin one, and this one is the vanilla. He usually likes this one because he adds in his banana and almond butter. But I'm not a fan of vanilla, so I like the blueberry muffin one. How cute! Oh, Girl, look at it. If this isn't motivation to start my day off right, I don't know what it is. Oh, so. That's going to go right there. And I think the other one, the other one stacks right on top of it. I took a little break from my blankets and I'm going to get back to that. Put both of them like that, friends. Or do I stack them up? What do you guys think? Now I need to find a sign that says, but first matcha. I'm doing all of this, y'all, and I don't even know if I like matcha or not. <laughs> Whatever. So this is where things get interesting because now I have this and I want to walk through this all, but I don't want to make this video super long. And I also don't want to talk only about homeschool. I am trying to stretch myself a little bit, even though y'all know I, I really do believe that homeschool is life around here. But I'm just trying. I'm in this journey slash process of not losing myself, you know, and having only an identity in being a homeschool mom so i don't know if you guys can relate to that i am certain that you probably can in different ways so chime in in the comments you guys but anyway that is kind of why i'm trying to figure out how to break this up so i think i'm going to walk through what's in these boxes on another video for um 
the Patreon Friends Club. And then I would have collected a couple of little posts to go ahead and get started there. But um, I think that'll be a better place for me walking through all of these things. I love that on the book. But this is basically what we're going to be using uh, to get started this week. We are doing, I guess, uh, it's another version of a unit study. I'm going to kind of tell you all about it in another uh, Friends Club video slash post. Um, but that's what all of this is for. These are all geography related things. So I'm going to walk through those now, but then I'm going to save that to post on our Friends Club. So... We don't know about this, friends, but we're gonna try it. Hey, girl. Hi. <laughs> what do you have there? Okay, so how many of you guys out there still make breakfast for your kids, or are your kids making breakfast? So they're making breakfast for themselves, but I'm, I am really considering making breakfast for them because sometimes they get stuck. And they don't know what no. they want to make. You said you would make breakfast for us from now on. Yes, that's I'll what I said. But now, well, let me see your smoothie. Ooh, child. And tell me what's in your smoothie. What's in your smoothie? Frozen blueberries. Um, a low protein milk and almond butter, I think. Ooh, it looks good. <laughs> All right, what else do you want to say this morning? So, how's our new schedule been going? It's going good. It's a little longer. And, um, grouped, I guess. Grouped? Um, like, more teamwork, I guess. Yeah, it is more teamwork. Savannah, but what she's currently working on is she doesn't have to, like, she doesn't like to have to wait for everyone else to be done with their work to get started. So, so far, that's the feedback that I got from you, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's usually, like, super speedy and has all of her work done the earliest. Well, so now no. she kind of still has to wait for us to start our main block. Here I am. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 